So I get lots of messages every other day asking how do you make your videos? What the hell do you use to make your videos? How do you make your videos? How do you wank? I'll fucking shoot you if you don't fucking tell me how to fucking edit your own fucking video. Well, um, I'm gonna show you in this video. So whoever um, asks me next, I'm just gonna send them the link to this video. Hi. Right, so I'm gonna go through how I record gaming, how I record normal stuff on my computer, like reacting and gaming on the computer, uh, how I edit the videos, and some other edit, um, another edit, other edit techniques that I haven't actually used yet in my own videos. This is my video software. There's nothing in it because there's no videos in it yet. Literally just a blank canvas, just a blank canvas. So first of all, this little uh, editing software is called Video Pad Video Editor. I use this. I've been using it for ages. And it's the best thing in the world. Um, it's a lot of money though. <laughs> uh, it's a free trial. Then you had to pay for it. I don't know what the price is, but on screen are the prices that I managed to find. You're welcome. This is what I see when I screen record. Um, that's the name up there, Deeper by NCH. Just put Deeper Video, um, or just put Screen Record. Just put in NCH Screen Recorder. Thing is though, if you get this, then it will come along with this. Because it will say in the corner, actually I'll show you. In here, it says there, record, then record screen, and then it'll like ask you to download uh, this, uh, this, and then you say yes, and then I download it for you. Thing is, though, it'll be a, a trial again. But if you get the full version of this, uh, if you get the full version of this editing software, you will get the full version with this along, along with it. Um, I'll show you the um, in a bit. I'll show you the best settings for this. I can't really show you now because I'm recording on it, so I gotta like. Get my camera in a bit and like show you guys on my screen, but that's in a bit. That that that's after other stuff. Just a raw unedited clip right here. Um, I'm gonna show you how I crop it down so like you see me running along and not actually go to start the camera and then go away. And um, I might show you a few tricks like uh, scene change. So like as I run past the camera, uh, the video cuts but like follows me and switches to the next scene. If you know what I mean. But yeah, let's try it. So, when you place your videos, you just drag it along like you just saw me do, but do not drag it into this bit, because it probably crash. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. It's just better to drag it in here, because then it has it here. It has, it, un it has the unedited version here, so if you ever want to like, go back or restart it, then it's there. And it has it there to remember. And it's easier for the computer as well. Um, so once you have it here, you see it here, just press place, and it'll uh, drop onto your timeline. Uh, so this is your actual video here, and you obviously use this like, little red indicator thing to uh, mark, you just move your way along the video. So I, I just play it. So there I am starting the video, I go into the kitchen, <laughs> my dog's there but I don't really care. And I just ran past the camera. So first of all, if you want just you running and not you starting the camera, then you just cut it there. You can either splice it by pressing that there, or you can just drag the beginning and do that and then it d goes back here and then it starts from there so that's how you do that um, obviously you want to like do that so then it's just so then it's just you running along um, so I'll show you like the like just some a video effects you could put on that like really simple. So what you do is what you do is you just right click on here, you press effects, and then you press this plus symbol here. Um, and the, all of these effects come up. Um, these are like um motion stuff like you can like move you like move the uh move the actual clip like different parts of the video or like. Uh, d d different parts of the screen, or you can like make it smaller, or you can make it shake, or you can make it split screen, or you can like wrap it so it's like two of them or something. Um, and you can like make it zoom in casually like that. Um, yeah. Then there's also, and then there's like um, stuff that it does to the picture, not like moving the actual clip. It does, 
it edits the picture of the clip so like you can like change it like really brightly you can um green screen it which is why i use a lot for this green screen obviously behind me um you can like make it a hue color so it like changes the color of it saturation satu i can't say this word saturation so you can intensify the color so everything's like really colorful sometimes i do that some but barely temperature just makes it look really warm or cold just a really badly made effect so they, they just don't use it transparency i use a lot you can uh you can decide how see-through you want it to be um it like let's say you just want it hard to see or you want or there's like a clip underneath it so you can like make that clip see-through so you can see another another video clip playing at the same time underneath it um yeah then there's just normal filters like black and white make it black and white blur it uh, censor stuff out um but there's a lot of stuff to like censor it out. If you want to like censor something out, you gotta like do it frame by frame to make it follow this thing. Or or if it's just like a um, a motionless picture or a video, like not moving, then you can just do it then with like one frame. And you can choose to like pixelate it out or just have a black bar over it. So now I'm gonna show you um something I haven't actually done in um any of my videos before when it comes to editing. I wanna like um crop it so as I'm running along um, the, the next scene will like come up as I'm running along, um, which would be quite cool looking. Thing is though, this scene isn't good for it, because clips that are good for that, you're supposed to like run from like one end of the camera to the other, so like from there all the way to over here, but here I, I like start in the middle and then I go off to the side, so I'm just like that, so I gotta like crop it to make it like, so I, I'm actually moving from here to there. So it wouldn't look good, it'll, it'll look like, so it wouldn't look good for me, it'll look all stretched out, but I'm just, it, it's, just an, it's just an example, so you guys get, get what I mean. If you want to crop stuff down, do not press crop, because it'll just create like a massive black bar. Um, if you want to crop stuff out, press zoom down there, and then uh, drag your red sensor to like this bit, highlighted bit, because that's what you're actually like trying to edit. And then, um... I'm going to drag that to there. Okay, that's like the most this way I'll, um, I, I get there. And then now I look all stretched out, but it's for an example, so it's fine. <laughs> There's Colin's head right there. So now what you see is that, and I can very easily um, transfer it to the next clip. So this is going to take a long time. I'll speed it up for you guys to watch. Right, see in like 12 hours. <laughs> Hey, it's the next day, and I've just watched uh, uh, that video, me running this video back, and it took all that time, it took three hours, and, and, and all that happened uh, was that. I'm only kidding. Yeah, um, I, 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 only did, I only did that to show you, and it's very messy, 
Um, because I had to do it very fast. Oh, you know what I fucking hate? Green screens. Hey, you know what happened today? This. I hurt my hand. I'm uh, only kidding, it's gone as makeup. <laughs> anyway, um, I, was, I was doing a photo shoot, because I'm famous. Alright, it's the next day now. Um, I had a problem with my screen recorder, but it's fixed now. It's all fixed. It took me a day, but it's fixed. Um, anyway, now I'm going to show you how to do simple edits, like uh, like cut from clip to clip, or just uh, cut a bit of a clip so it skips from one half to the other half of it, um, and stuff like that. So I just pulled out this random bit of footage I've got on my computer now. Fun, fun, fun fact here, look at all of this. This is a while back, it was a bit cringe, like, like that, but... Right, so if if you look here, me and Flynn went into a, went into a chapel first of all. Hard. Look, we got the studio lights. Look, we got that big studio light. We ever had. We have that studio light. We bought all of his. We literally bought half of his house with him. All of his camera gear, and we did all these shots. Look, all of his shots. All of these shots. I'll just skip ahead, and as you see. It took a lot of work, and it took me, like, literally three months to edit it, non-stop, and I, obviously, we're, we're, obviously we were very excited when we were releasing it, as you can see, all of his editing right here, as part of all of his editing right here, and we made it all, so, um, so excited with it, put it onto YouTube and it was copyrighted. So, I'm like, oh, that, oh that's okay. Because I don't make any money anyway, so we're just going to release it. No, it got blocked worldwide, so no one could see it. D you don't know how annoying that was for me and Flynn. This is like a year back now, but... It's because of Eminem's Venom songs in it, because that's the music video. And um, the song's alright, but <laughs> the song Venom is in the film Venom. So that's why that's why I got copyright. So I've I, I've got to be very careful now, um, trying to like filter all and not let you guys or the video hear it. But I just talk over it. So this is the this is the video. Um, you get the idea. So I just got like a small end of it. I I, I just got the ending of it. And I'm 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 gonna do some edits. I I, I let you watch it first. Then uh. <laughs> Don't get me copyright, 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 don't get me copyright. Yeah, <laughs> um, I have to do that literally. So, um, basically, I'm going to show you how to do some stuff. So, if you want to split, um, split a clip so it cuts from one half of it to the other, or like uh, when you're making a video, and you like go for like a pee break, then you want to cut that out. Then just how you do it. So just pretend you're doing a video up to this point, and then you go for a pee. So you press this clip here, this button here called split all tracks, or you can go over here and press that. But you press that, and you drag your timeline, and then you drag your timeline over to where obviously when you come back, and then you press it again, or that one over there again, and then. It, then it splits off these uh, parts of the clip and separates it from this bit. You can, you can do whatever you want with this now. But um, obviously you want to delete it, so you right click, go up to cut, and it gets rid of it, and it puts these two, two together. So now, it will be cut. See? Well, I'll, I'll make it more like noticeable if I just delete that. And then, um, and, and there you go. So it's playing on this clip, and then suddenly... So it'll cut to that one, and obviously if you want to like uh, change this so it's like faster cutting, like so it's, so it's faster cutting along, you just do that. Oh uh, yeah, like if you want to do it further, then you go and uh, do that. Yeah, and if also if you want to do like uh, transitions between the slides, literally you just press that button there, uh, and then you have like, all, all these like really cheesy transitions like the star and then um, see this little black bar that's the transition if you just drag it along to as how long you want it to like transition for 
like this. Yeah, <laughs> uh, don't use that transition, just just don't. If, if you want to get rid of it, then... Oh, God, how do you do it? I think the, the easiest way to get rid of a... Tra oh, the easiest way to get rid of a transition is to just do that, and then it's done, it's gone. So, we're going to go off this for now. Just for now. And we're going to go, and I'm, I'm going to show you how I record my Xbox gameplays. Um, my normal gameplays um, is just... My screen recorder recording the screen like it is now, which is what you're seeing um, right here. But um, basically, you want to get this all fired up. You want to get this fired up. I'll, I'll show you the settings for it in a bit, the best settings I use for it. That will give you the smoothest stuff. But yeah, I'll show you that in a bit. But this is what I do. So, obviously, you want your Xbox. It doesn't matter where it is. You can be, it can be downstairs. The closer it is, the less laggy it will be. So, mine's just over there in the corner of the room. You, you, all you need to do is turn it on. You need uh, to download this Xbox app on your computer. It's not that hard. In fact, it's like it's actually on your computer already. You just need to like sign it and everything. <laughs> so you just you get the app. Um, you sign in. You're like with, with your Microsoft account set up with your Xbox. So you, ju you just sign into your Xbox account, and then I'll like show show you all your Xbox messages and everything, and all the games you've played and all the achievements you've got and everything. Like here, um, so. All you need to do when it's on here, you go down this. You find this hot bar here. If it's not there, it will be there. Um, you find this hot bar and you go down to this one here. This is connection. You click it obviously, and my Xbox is off right now. So you can turn it on here. Actually, I, I literally just found that out. You can turn it on here, or you can go to Xbox and turn it on. So I'm just going to turn it on now. Um, yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it turning on now. So, to give it a second to warm up. So, for your first time doing this, I'd recommend uh, pressing test streaming. It'll give you the best uh, graphics for it and everything um, for you to play off. Um, but it, even if it gives you the best um, the best quality, it won't be the best quality like you've ever seen. Cause it, because it's just connecting Bluetooth, not Bluetooth, but whatever it is, onto your computer, and it's not the best, but it is like a little cheeky way of recording for you, like for like for, for like beginner YouTubers. It, this is a good thing for them. So when, once the Xbox is up, you press stream or test streaming if you haven't done it before. But I've done it before, and it's already done for me. So you, I press stream, connecting on Xbox One. Bearing in mind the, um, you know the. Um, Screen recorder is already recording, and it, it and it will say for you there are no controllers controllers attached to this PC. J just ignore it and press continue with your mouse, and then your mouse will disappear if you leave it like that. Or I'll put it onto the other screen. Then you can get your controller that I have got. <laughs> and back there you go. You have your Xbox screen on your computer to record. This is me playing. Look, there's a bit of a delay. But it's, it's like a slight delay, a slight more delay than it usually is. Yeah, so this is me playing. Look, um, going around. I'll um, I'll grab a hook to something, and then wingsuit, and then yeah, there you go. So um. So that's a pretty cool way, pretty easy way, to um, record your gameplays on your Xbox. But we're going to quickly kill ourselves, like so, <laughs> and we're going to go off because, yeah, stop streaming. So I've shown you how to do that, I've shown you how to screen record, I've shown you how I record my Xbox gameplays, I've shown you all of that. Now I'm going to show you the best settings for my screen recorder so i'll just get the camera right now all right hi so um we're on here and i'm going to stop the screen i'm going to stop screen recording and i'm not going to do that so the cool thing is seeing that this is part of the video editor what it does is i've just screen recorded all that for this video and now it's importing the files uh, there on to um this editing software here so it'll go straight on without me doing it which is quite cool 
like that right there so that's what I've just recorded for this video uh, and there's like other files but yeah so the best sorry about this I guarantee you get this it's amazing it's gonna set you up with like something um something uh custom but change it to this also if you've got a split screen monitor it will do this you can like change it to each one like that but I just have it over here and also if it's like messing up for you and it's not getting like what you want in you press this here and um, you can like you can like measure what you want to record and everything like that it's going to be a default setting for you so listen carefully because this is what you got to do to record better and really smoothly so you go so you go to here screen record as um, and you go up here you, you see your V's and you go up here to a uh, fast capture or you, or you just find fast capture anywhere in this list and then and then then you've got to go to video options here and it will and your limit and you've got to find the limit frame right here and it'll probably say something around here something around 34 frames per second like something around there you've got to drag it up to the max 60 uh, frames, frames per second it depends how good your computer is but I don't think you need a very good computer for it because 60 frames per second um, because 60 frames per second makes it all very smooth for you <laughs> if, I, if I just turn it down to the bottom here like that then look how laggy the mouse is on the actual screen recording there quite laggy but but if you turn it to the top like that you look again and it's very smooth it's as smooth as it can get and um, also this camera overlay don't use that just, just don't just don't do anything else apart from what I just told you then you'll be fine oh I'm down there I don't mean to do that. Just don't do that, yeah? Just don't do that. So that's how I record my crap. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I probably missed something out. Um, if you want to know any more, just message me and I'll make another video or I'll just tell you in the texts. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this uh, inspired you. <laughs> uh, you got to be kidding, Dylan. Hopefully it's done that or it's just taught you how to edit in general. Um, if you don't want to pay for the video editing software um, just um, just come to me and I try and uh, I try and do something cheeky for you to try and get it free but I'm, I'm not promising anything uh, uh, and I'll see you guys later have a good uh, day Christmas is, near, is nearly here as well so um, yeah bye